Okay, so hi there, Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, today we have a spread right here to what we can expect and what we might be going through for this month. And I've also added an addition of um, a shamanic messages so that we can get some form of insights and advice to how we are going to navigate and proceed through the month of May. So um, first, let's take a look on the middle card. And we have here the Queen of Swords. And this is going to be representing you right now. It might be your energy, your vibe, or what you might be going through as a whole um, for our Gemini people. By the way, uh, I forgot to mention that this is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Gemini people out there, so just keep that in mind. I do suggest you watch with your sun, moon, or rising sign videos all at the same time to get a more concrete overview to what you might be going through this month. Anyway, so we have here the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is really more of a... It has a very cold demeanor most of the time. And um, in this situation, I would say that there could be something that you, you are wanting to sort out. You're getting to the truth of this situation. And speaking of the truth, we do have the truth card over here. Uh, so there could be an issue right here about communication, messages, or some form of knowledge that you might need to find out. You might need to correct. You might need to learn that is going to be prominent for the month of May. We have here the card of um, It's All Good, the Anger, Joy, Ancient Wisdom, and Home at the same time. So... I wanted to, to first talk about the, the, the cards here because it's definitely telling us that there's going to be some form of communication that's going to be highlighted and, you know, finding things out, learning about cer certain things and maybe the, need the needed uh, action that to correct a certain uh, situation in your life as a whole might be present as well. Um, so uh, we have here the Queen of Swords and it is with the Magician card and the Four of Wands. So I would say that this is also a time wherein you might be waiting. You're, you are, you know, waiting for something, waiting for some form of news to come into your life, which it makes you, it gives you a feeling wherein you are expecting something really, really good in your situation. But at the same time, you, you kind of find out that, you know, things are not really what you were expecting things to be. Uh, it's like you are facing things in a very positive way. And what really happens is that, you know, things suddenly turn into some form of complicated situation. And um, there was a need for you to explain and be thorough with your own words as all at the same time. Maybe there were assumptions um, that has gotten off course, you know, that um, maybe maybe you found out someone is lying to you. You might have found out, you know, cheating behind your back. Well, I'm not really seeing that. It's just a, more of a sample wherein someone might let you down or uh, you could be in a position wherein you might need to to rephrase something or re redo something, explain yourself to someone and all those kind of stuff. Because we do have here the, uh, the Five of Cups here. So there is a form of disappointing factor. But at the same time, it also has a lot to do with past situations maybe. And we do have the, the King of Wands here, the Magician, and the Devil card. So this gives me a feeling we're in. There could have been some form of words or some form of messages, some form of agreement that was a little bit too manipulative. And, you know, maybe you did not. This is something that, you know, someone is not aware about. Someone did not really have a clear picture about. 
And uh, that realization is going to sink in, especially if things are going to be exposed within the month of May. And that can, you know, trigger a lot of anger, a lot of difficult emotions. But the most important thing that you need to, to really understand here is that you were able to find the truth. You know, you were not, um, for me, I would say that it, it is a pity. It is quite disappointing when you find out that someone has been lying to you all this all of this time but um that feeling in that moment we're in you are not really being too ignorant about the things that are going on behind your back for far too long it's already a blessing of its own and you know being able to be to have some form of awareness on what is right and what is wrong what it is that you need to find out is you know um i i always see that as a blessing because um seeing a problem ahead of time uh, allows you to actually solve um situation solve circumstances on your situation and all of those kinds of things as well so um and with the chariot here the the four of wands and the seven of wands this is really more of a situation we're in okay something was amiss in the past and right now we are going to try to fix this you know the chariot is all about movement all about uh putting things forward rebalancing the relationship harmonizing a connection and making an effort to make it work and uh with the seven of wands this is really more of a situation where in something we need to fix something you know um there is definitely some form of adversity here that we might need to to defend something we need to fight back on something but eventually this is really more about a situation that we are wanting to overcome some form of situation in our life and maybe it has a lot to do with our emotions with our with our feelings or our trust with a particular person in our life or this could be you know something that is related in our home or in in our family life all at the same time since we do have the home card here as well but um I really see that this is really more of a situation we're in. Maybe um, a lot of you Gemini people are going to be feeling that retrograde energy already because at the end of the month, we are going to actually have a Mercury retrograde. And Mercury retrograde always, always affects <laughs> Gemini people. So um, you, you are probably going to be getting the, the glimpse and uh you're going to be experiencing it a lot um earlier especially during the shadow part so if there are things that you know that is quite cloudy there could be you know a lot of um corrections that you might need to to undergo us at the same time i see this really this is not really the most romantic uh situation that we are seeing here this is really more of a situation wherein there's a lot of mental activity going on there are also emotions involved but i kind of feel that this is, has a lot to do with you need to correct something you need to fix something there's something that is not right and you need to make it better you need to improve it you need to overcome some form of problematic situation in your uh maybe relationships you know it could be work it could be family it could be your friends or it could be with your lover all at the same time so this is going to be a pivotal moment for you to to fix situations in your life gemini and this is really going to be a time we're in um, if you have done something in the past that is immoral or unethical, um, this is going to be a period wherein you are going to find your way into being more responsible and being more matured with certain things. Maybe um, it gives me a feeling we're in, you know, some form of efforts needs to, to happen, you know, some form of engagement efforts needs to be done. And, you know, someone trying to push things forward. And there is no resistance that I'm picking up here. It's like a mother found out that her kid has been 
a bad boy or a bad girl, and and their kid um, has no choice but to abide with the mother's law. So uh, I really do not see any form of resistance right there. It's just that there is probably going to be someone that is going to be willing to to pay back. Or to own up with their own mistakes, and you know, making the effort to actually correct them, and this could be you, or it could be there is someone that is going to own up with their own mistakes, and they might be going to enter your life and try to put some form of remedy in that. Who knows, right? But it's going to be interesting in how things are going to unfold. But we are do seeing here that if there is a form of disappointment and stagnancy, do know that. This is something that is going to be corrected and rectified later on and um, to harmonize back a relationship and situation as a whole. Now, it's going to be a matter of whether you are going to be forgiving with this, whether you are going to be stubborn or playing hard to get. I mean, that's going to be a different story as a whole. But um, for now, what we are seeing here is that for the month of May, um, some form of fix is going to be a big bigger theme and being more mature and um, deciding things in a way that leads to a form of light for you um, take the high road you know that kind of uh, a feeling and energy but if you're concerned about some form of relationship, someone is definitely going to own up with their mistakes and going to try to fix a situation, no matter what um, that situation might be um, going to turn out for a lot of Gemini people. So um, anyway, this is my very quick uh, reading for a lot of you Gemini people this month of May. This is going to be, you know, the biggest focus and theme for you for this month. And do let me know how this turns out for you. And if you do want a more personal reading, just like this one or something a little bit more complex and specifically done for you, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website and the stars by Chrissy.com and I shall see you guys again next month.